Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Just uh, puffing on my fake cigar here. <clears throat> Let me put that out. Yes, I know you have already noticed the mustache is no more. A moment of silence for the mustache that was beautiful, then it was gone, and now it's no more. I'm sorry about that. Also, it was getting very itchy and kind of annoying because every 30 seconds I was doing one of these, trying to tape it back onto my face. It was kind of sad and pathetic, but yes, mustache is gone. Also, I'm sorry for uh, taking nearly a week to upload another episode, but believe it or not, I'm moving again. I know, right? In case you guys haven't been here long and you don't know, I have this problem where I'm trying to run away from my fears and issues. So about every nine to 10 months, I move houses and uh, I move states. Like I'm in Florida currently, now I'm moving back to Texas. So if there's a while where, uh, where the stuttering's already started. Oh my God, the video has just begun and I'm already stuttering. My apologies, my brain doesn't want to work. If there's a uh, short period of time where I'm not uploading consistently, I'm sorry about that, but uh, yeah. Either way, welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption 2, and we are not going to waste any time at all. I believe Micah wants to speak to us. Howdy, Micah. You got a job for me, son? Micah. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well... However it goes. Mm. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. Excuse no me? Doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. <laughs> it's peace, Dutch. <laughs> the address I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. Jeez! I met a couple of the Adrisco boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, like an obese tiger. <clears throat> with a anyway, single claw. Somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Mm -hmm. well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. Yeah, exactly. Get shot because you'll be protecting us. Oh, me. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. It's tough. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. Why is it always me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Besides, you're an obese tiger. You probably have zero stamina. Fine. <laughs> Mount up uh, Micah, listen, th it's my job to make fun of the fat man, okay? That's me. Profoundly limited intelligence, yet you're the one that wants to go parlay with the O'Driscolls. You are so dumb. And, may I add, extremely ugly. Like, Micah, you are hideous. God did you an injustice by even letting you be born with a face like that. Woo! Ugly. And I'm the one that's gonna have to protect them. Should have seen that one coming. I'm the only person here that can get anything done. Yeah, especially you, my man. With your fancy suit, always spending time in camp, drinking, singing, you know, spinning some tall I've tales. I've been fighting comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. Mm. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. 
Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head? Hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts? <laughs> oh my god! There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. Mm. You got that rifle, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? Okay, just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. You guys really oh, put a lot of faith in me, huh? Trusted friend. With you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As mm. would I. Okay, then. Well, apparently my, my reputation is uh, quite strong. Uh, as it should be. After all, I am the hardest, most terrible criminal in the Wild West. By terrible, I mean the most evil. I can kill and slaughter everything hey, and everyone and go straight to sleep. Man on the ridge. Oh, Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Hmm. I feel naked without my mustache. I'm not going to lie. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. Hmm. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I, I dream too big, caring too much. That's my problem. Ah. Uh. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit <laughs> from both of you. <laughs> oh yeah. Might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise. Of this great nation, men created equal, liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too, but it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? You are so weird. I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. He talks with so much patriotism, yet we're out here robbing and killing everyone. <laughs> we don't care about the local right, population. Marco. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll okay. Down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. Mm. All right. All right. Don't I'll worry. Shakes out. Let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Hmm. That's right, my children. Ride into hell. Mama Hen will be up here at the top of the hill with a golden sniper rifle. Oh, yes. I'm always the one that has to watch out for everyone. I collect all the food. I do all the killing. All the most dangerous jobs. I don't even know why I bother with the rest of them. I pretty much hold the entire camp together. If it wasn't for me, everyone would be dead. Oh, we got some vultures. Shoot. Go away. Shoot. Shoot. I need this spot. I've got to protect my uh, stupid gang. They can't do anything without me. They talk big, but they really don't hold up at all. Like, they can't do anything. I had to slaughter everyone in a, uh, in Strawberry to even save Micah. And Dutch, he has not done a day's work in his life. <laughs> Unless it was him pretending to be a police officer. Or a deputy, rather. Then he's okay with that. But that's not the gun I want to use! Where's my gold Hello, sniper? Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? Ooh! <laughs> Burn! Oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. You are so ugly. At least Dutch looks civilized. Heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. 
Yeah, well, I never liked him much. <laughs> I Cold? <laughs> liked Annabelle. Mm. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Oh! Okay, well, that didn't work out. Hello, sugar. <laughs> you ain't dead, is you? No. Oh! Oh! Damn, boys, not the face. That's my semi best feature. Okay, no, it's not. I lied, but still. Handing them over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. Ooh, we they are upset. Right, we can draw them all back. True. Where'd Colum and Patrick head off? All right, so I have to take these guys out. Now, how the hell am I going to do that? It's just me, and I am... Oh! Whoa! Get on the horse, get on the horse, get on the horse! I can't mount the horse, are you kidding me? Okay, I'm definitely dead. Yup! Uh, listen, boys, boys, let's talk about this. I give you the suck, you let me go? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay, well, that was my face. Still not my best feature, but not fun being shot right in the face. Wait, what? Am, am I... Am I still alive somehow? Okay, I'm thrown over the back of someone's horse. What the hell happened? How am I still alive? Arthur is not human. He's like part bear, which makes sense because he looks as ugly as a bear. Finally. Bears are cute. Never there. mind. What's an ugly, ugly creature? Maybe I'm part alligator. I'm not sure. They shot me, they beat me up, and somehow I'm still alive. Medical attention, please. I would do the same for you. <laughs> lies, all lies. Arthur Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, it's not good to see you. <laughs> How's woo? I hardly feel it. You will. Ooh. Septic. Now, tell me. Uh, fine gun like you. Uh, why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. Clearly. Oh, no. no. Uh, it's Dutch's famous car. Uh, oh! You killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point cat. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you lie, my That's such a lie. <laughs> And I thought Doug oh. preached true. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. Oh, oh! I mean, what did I do besides kill half your boys? Come on, chill! Man, poor Arthur! Mmm, that does not look fun. They did shoot him, right? Like, they shot him in the side of the head? I'm gonna have a chunk of my head missing. It is not going to be pretty. Now, Arthur will never get the ladies. Not that he could before, you understand. Bad hygiene, but still. Oh, poor man. Well, I guess that was sort of a smart move. After all, again, Arthur is the backbone of the camp. Without him, they got nothing. Ooh, there's a knife over there. Look at me, still half alive. Barely holding on. All right, all right, let's get a little swing action going. Look at that. Good thing I took that uh, ballerina class. What? No, gymnast gymnastic class? I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. I took some class that allows me to swing on ropes. I don't know. 
Oh! And you're still moving and kicking? I would be gone! After that beating they gave me, I would be gone! Oh, they shot him in the shoulder. Okay, I guess that's better than the face. Ah! Oh, maybe not! Oh, that looks so painful! Ah! Good thing you're part alligator. Or dinosaur. Or bear or something. I don't know. You can't feel pain, huh? Maybe he's like a wounded lion. When a, uh, I guess a predator gets really wounded, they get super angry and want to fight more. Is that how that works? I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ooh. It's gonna use the gunpowder, I'm guessing, to, uh... Can't remember what the term is, but... Um, close the wound. So he doesn't bleed to death. Oh, there it is! Uh, cauterize. Cauterize? That is a weird word to say. Alright, come on. Raise candle. And... Am I doing it right? There we go. Woo! That is a hardcore way to seal a wound up. I wanna go to I wanna go home. Home! Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. Home. Come here, you! Give me that face! Let me slit your throat, yeah! Look at me! Wounded shoulder and I'm still able to kick some ass? Got some throwing knives? Oh, look at my uh, health meter down there. And I'm guessing my energy and sleep meter. I am not good at all. Oh, your boy needs some uh, sustenance. Whiskey, obviously. And uh, chewing tobacco. That'll get me up on my feet. Okay, nothing in here. Let's What's go on up. What's he doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man. It's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. Mmm. Leave the area on horse. Alright. Where's my horse at? He's over here. Come on, Napoleon! You should know I'm in trouble! Get your ass over here! Let's use my throwing knife. Hello there, bad guy! Don't you just want a free knife right in your- Oh no! Oh no! Alright, well maybe trying to use a throwing knife while I'm half dead is not the best of ideas. Maybe I can loot this guy? Nope, they're coming! Okay, Napoleon! Oh shit, Napoleon, come here! Come here, boy! You know it's me, you can smell my body odor! Let's go, let's go! Woo. Sorry, just leaving. I have an important date. A hot date. Can't be, uh, can't, can't be late! Bye, boys! Woo! That did not work out. I should have just tried to sneak out stealthily instead of throwing a knife, poorly throwing a knife at someone. Hello, boys! Lovely night! Please don't shoot at me! Oh! Napoleon! <laughs> no! Come on, get up, boy! Get up! Good thing these guys are terrible shots! Mm. It's been a while since I've played this game. Give your boy a break, okay? Hold up! Okay, let's try this again. Except this time I'm gonna go over here because there is apparently a gun I can get. Howdy there, sir! Lovely day to catch a knife in your face, wouldn't you say? Oh, I do believe so! Woo! I am good at that! Okay, there should be a weapon over here somewhere. Ah, Arthur's weapons. There we go, baby! Calm to Papa. You beautiful machines of death. Woo! They messed with the wrong guy, let me tell you what. I've got my gold guns. Let's get the hell out of here. Come on, Napoleon. It's time to ride like the wind. Return to Clement's point. Look at me, I'm surprised they left my guns out in the open. I mean, they're solid gold. Well, at least gold plated. Very fancy. If I were one of the O'Driscolls, I would try and keep that for myself, but uh, luckily they're not selfish. At least in the ways that count. Howdy! Nope, nope, leave me alone. I'm just riding out of here. I have to return these guns. They're borrowed. Borrowed guns, mm-hmm. I borrowed them from a prince. Far away country. He wants it back, otherwise he's gonna kill all of you guys. So, I mean, it's in our both, it's in a, both of our best interests for me to return these solid gold beauties. Mm. I have to come up with an excuse, I'm not sure. Maybe they'll buy it. Probably not. Oh, come on, girl. Give me home. So wait, where's Dutch at? Why the hell didn't he come save me? Oh, well, let me guess. Without Arthur's support and help, you couldn't be bothered to save me? What happened? Oh! I guess I made it back. Nope, I think he passed out. Luckily, Napoleon knows the way back. Or at least he should, if he's a half-decent horse. You know the way back, Napoleon? Oh, okay. 
still awake. Arthur is tough. He's got some really thick skin. Survived a beating, being shot in the shoulder. Whew. I'm back, in case anyone wondered. Ooh. Arthur. Arthur? Arthur. Surprise. Uh, I told you it was a setup, Dutch. Oh, my boy. My dear boy, what? They got me. Uh, I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. Debatable. Uh, uh, you are safe now, Arthur. Mmm. I could die from gangrene from this uh you're safe now. shotgun blast oh, in the pretty. shoulder. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. Can you read me a bedtime story? You're home. Home, huh, some home. Where's Mike at? He says I'm dumb. He's the one that's an idiot. We walk right into a trap. Good job, Micah. Parlay, they say. He's both ugly and stupid, at least Arthur's stupid or ugly, but he's got a little bit of intelligence. In fact, I would say he's got more common sense than pretty much anyone here in the camp. A few weeks later. He's also got the thickest hide. He can survive a lot. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. He's tough. Takes more than a gunshot wound and some beating to kill him. I mean, a real beating. A serious ass pounding. And I still managed to survive. I really hope that Arthur doesn't die in this story because uh, he's my favorite character by far. As he should be, he's the protagonist, or I guess the main character of the story. But uh, I don't know, I just feel like he's gonna have a seriously bad ending, mainly because I am the backbone of the camp. I do everything, I kill everyone, and everyone wants to kill me. I have to save Micah, I have to do all the hunting, I have to round up all the supplies, and then when anything goes south, I have to be the one to basically save the day, right? Looking good, Mr. Swanson, or Reverend. I mean, last time we looked at you, you had crazy blown back hair and you were running around drunkenly singing. Now you look like a, an actual Reverend of the Not Alcoholic Society. Say you were following me. Damn straight I am, son. I need you to bless these wounds, heal me with the Lord. Yeah, something like that, I don't know. All right, well, I think for now, I'm gonna leave it off there. That was quite the episode. Uh, I know I said I was gonna make longer videos when I got back, but was it counting on having to move? And I'm gonna be moving most likely, uh, I think probably December 24th. Yeah, I know, like right after Christmas. Like I'll be getting ready and then on the 25th of December, have Christmas, then after that I'll be moving. I'm not even kidding you, it's sad. I have problems, I have to move a lot. Either way, for the next uh, probably 20 days, videos will be a little bit shorter, I'm sorry about that. Unless I upload other games, but each video should be about 20 minutes long, if not a little bit longer. So I hope that's not a problem, but yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I'm loving this game, and Arthur is one tough son of a bitch. He is not going down without a fight. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until next episode, sorry about the mustache, peace out.